Hello, everybody. Sorry for the long wait. What's wrong, monkey honey? What's wrong, sweetie? Are you one back inside the house, sweetie? Huh? Okay, come on. Let's get you back in. Let's get you back in, sweetheart. Come on, honey. That a girl. Yeah. There you go, hon. Oh, nice. Better. Alrighty. Like I said, everybody, sorry for that very long wait. Like I said, I've been busy out the rear ends doing everything else around the house. Job finding to everything. But, like I said, I'm here. Still breathing. Now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. For a video. I thought about doing... Hmm. Maybe a top ten? Yeah. Let's do that one. Of my childhood movies that I liked to watch when I was a kid. That'll do. Mm hmm So, we'll start out with a number ten. For this one, I basically chose... Mm. Let's see. A number ten spot movie that I remember watching a lot would be... The Land Before Time series, which is basically dinosaurs, for those who haven't seen it. It's a really good kids movie. Dinosaurs end up giving lots of grand lessons in life in general. And I think we've watched it about 15 times when we were kids, me and my brothers. So yeah, if it's, it's a really good start of a good movie that's what mom started us on when we were kids because we had to have it that and it was dinosaurs mom was actually happy for that one number nine spot the homeward bound series where there's the cat sassy champs and the one other dog spot i believe I believe it would be Spot. Yeah, it should be Spot. They go on an adventure where they actually go find their owners. Every time the owners end up either moving or they went on some type of vacationary area for... This is the both series. One and two. And it becomes a real good teachable moment for the, all the kids. There's some learning to it. I mean, I've learned a few things from it. Number eight. Hmm. I remember watching The Men in Black. I think it was 1997 to 1998 is when it came out. So, yeah. The Men in Black first one. That was when I was real young. We loved watching it because that space shuttle crashed into that guy's truck. It was funny to us. Number seven. The Iron Giant, Iron Giant movie kept us preoccupied in that one. So yeah, it's the Iron Giant, which is basically a giant robot that came from space by a kid named Hogarth. And this kid named Hogarth and the robot always had a lot of adventures. They had lots of fun. Kept my brother Joshua preoccupied. He watched it about ooh, 20 times before it went out. That was his biggest favorite movie of us watching a whole lot of it. Number six. Hmm. The. Ooh. Number six. Number six. From our, my childhood. Free Willy. That was a good one, too. Because it was my brother's favorite. I remember when it cat came out on VHS the VHS came with a necklace of the orca my brother Austin really treasured that necklace of course we told him he could have it so that'd be his thing 
he watched it a whole lot, and I still remember the old um, Indian of uh, Samayu Iu Ayesis. That way the orca whale flips over him. I think I, I forgot the kid's name in that movie, too. Still a good movie, too. Number five. Number five, number five, number five, number five. Would be what other movies did we watch when we were kid when I was a kid back in my day? That I remember watching a whole bunch of. The nineteen nineties version of Batman. I remember that. We've watched that a lot because we were also big into superhero movies, so you can't knock it. It was one with Robin Batgirl for the Mr. Freeze and Poison Ivy one that we watched the most. that played Catwoman at that time period. Still good movies. Number four would be mm -mm. Like I said, this, I'm doing this as I go, so mm, bear with me, people. Number four would have to be hmm, a movie that all four of us watched when we were kids that kept us preoccupied that way mom can have her reading book time. Hmm. What other <laughs> movies did we watch that kept us preoccupied? watch the Green Mile one. That was a real good one back when we were kids. Had a hard time understanding it because we were so little, but we watched it a lot. It's one of the ones that kept us preoccupied. Number three. The first Spider-Man one. With the Green Goblin. That was a one that we kept ourselves preoccupied along with our cousin who was a very big super fan of it kept him preoccupied when he was little and every time he'd come over to spend the night with us that was a movie of his to go choice number two and kept ourselves preoccupied other than watching the Eddie Murphy stand-up comedy. We watched, actually, number two is going to be the Bill Cosby one. His stand-up comedy made us laugh a lot, and we were kids, so we got most of the jokes. <clears throat> and then our number one spot for this one one, the only, for the legend from Robin Williams, is Doubtfire. We loved that movie. It kept us laughing, and it brought a home feeling to us when we were kids. We watched that one until that VHS literally wore it to itself out. It was that bad. It ended up getting stuck to the VHS uh, area, the videotaper. Well, hopefully I did the top ten correctly for you guys, and hopefully you guys also enjoyed it as well. Well, 
I'm going to go ahead and sign off, guys. So remember to hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new to this. If you guys want to, also share it around on your social medias about it. And remember, catch you later. Well, yeah. Alright. Bye, guys.